Imagine a future where autonomous drones will deliver packages, help emergency response systems and gather data about our surroundings. To get here, we need lighter and more efficient drones, agile enough to land anywhere but still capable of covering long ranges. This is what Professor Remus and his team have been working on at the TU Delft as they prepared for the International Unmanned Vehicle Competition held in Australia earlier this year. So this is the Delft Helicopter. It's designed by a team at the Microair UV Lab at the University of Delft and it's designed for the Outback UV Challenge. It's a competition where we have to take off vertically, fly for 30 kilometers, completely autonomous, and then localize a person, land nearby the person, and the person will uh, insert a blood sample into the drone. And now when he inserts the blood sample, he press only one button, and the drone takes off automatically and then fly all the way back and land nearby the hospital. We have a complete uh, helicopter swash plate here and put it in front of a delta wing so we can take off uh, like a normal helicopter and then we transition 90 degrees and then we fly forward like a normal airplane. A lot of people are using now multi-rotors. They are not capable of flying very long and very big distance. So if you want to do that, you need a fixed wing. But for a fixed wing, you need a catapult and you need a big area where you can land. And this is a marriage of both, so you can take off everywhere you want and you can fly very efficient, very long distances. Uh, so for instance, you can take off in the middle of a forest and land back in the middle of a forest, but also in front of a, of a ship. And because we are making sure that we can fly a very big distance, also our data communication is, uh, is made for this. So we, for instance, in the, the wingtip, we have uh, like an Iridium satellite communication. So the data communication is going through space and coming back to our ground station. But next to that, we also have one person who was uh, uh, developing vision algorithms. And this was done with a very new uh, stereo vision system uh, from Pirate. And it can see depth. So with this system, we localize the person and we localize the perfect landing spot. Yeah, now we show that the concept worked and that we also can deliver blood samples uh, back to the hospital. You can also imagine that there are many, many other uh, applications possible. For instance, delivering medicines to people, uh, but also looking where uh, survivors are after a boat crash in the water. So in a few years it will be normal for us that drones will fly over our heads, delivering packages, gathering data, and we will find it as normal as uh, that you have uh, your smartphone in your pocket now.